Hey everyone, so today we are in Minecraft Pocket Edition and we're going to talk about how to install texture packs on all of your Pocket Edition devices, so Android, iOS and on Windows 10 Edition. Now originally I wanted to make this video on how to both install the Pocket Edition texture packs and how to convert your PC Edition resource packs into the Pocket Edition format but the sort of conversion is a bit more complicated than I thought. So we're just gonna to stick to doing the installation in this video and then conversion in another video. So I'll stress again that this is how to install Pocket Edition texture packs. If they aren't in the Pocket Edition format, then they won't work. Um, but you'll see a bunch of annotations on your screen now to skip to the relevant device that you use. Um, but we're gonna start off with Windows 10 Edition. Okay, so here we are on Windows 10 edition, and if I go ahead into options, and then under game options, you can see there's texture packs. If I click manage, you can see that the only available texture packs are the ones that you have to buy. So in on my desktop, I have this faithful Pocket Edition texture pack, and we need to go ahead and place this in the appropriate folder. So the easiest way to get there is to right click the Windows icon down here, click search, then type in the percent symbol, app data percent, and that'll take you to the app data roaming folder. Now we wanna go back up to the app data folder, go into local, scroll down to packages down here, then we want to find microsoft.minecraft, uh, so here it is, microsoft.minecraft uwp, and then just a bunch of nonsense, go into that, go into your local state, games, com.mojang, and then in here you can see um, Minecraft Pocket Edition and where your Minecraft worlds are stored. Now to get our resource pack into here, we, or text pack into here, we actually have to create the resource packs folder. So create a new folder called resource underscore packs. Now technically at the moment there are only text packs because you can theoretically only change the textures, but hopefully soon they'll be um, actual resource packs with support for sounds and other things as well. So go ahead and drag your um, texture pack into the resource packs folder. So now if we go back into Windows 10 edition, you can see that Faithful now shows up and it says 1.10 because I actually converted this from the um, 1.10 PC edition resource pack. Um, but I'll show you how to do that on all the colored text in the conversion video. But for now, we are just going to click it to move it across to the selected texture packs and check out how it actually looks in game. So we'll click back, play and my world, let it load up. And we're in a new world and you can see already that the texture pack is working. Um, most of it works. There are a few things like the water, which I haven't um, got working just yet, but I'll have that all sorted out before I make the conversion video. Um, so you can see this is a 32 by 32 sort of resource pack. Um, so I don't recommend running this on phones necessarily, but on Windows 10 edition it should be fine. So now let's move over onto iOS. Okay, so now we're going to check out how to install texture packs on iOS. I've got my texture pack over here, and for this all you'll need is a computer with iTunes installed and the USB cable plugged into your iOS device. So I'm going to plug my iOS device in now, and then in iTunes, this the iPhone will show up. I'm going to click on that, click on apps, and then scroll down to um, file sharing where you'll see a Minecraft Pocket Edition. Click on that, then click on games and click save to and we'll just save it to the desktop. Now if we open up this games folder, go into com.mojang, you'll notice that it is pretty damn similar to the Windows 10 edition. And you'd be right, it's exactly the same process now. So we just create a new folder called resource underscore packs. Oops and then drag our um, text pack into that folder and then close that out. Now we want to overwrite this games folder with the old one, so we're gonna click on this, click delete, click delete, and then drag our new games folder into this 
um, the Pocket Edition documents. And that's it done. Now you can just unplug your phone and it'll be there. Um, I'll show up a screenshot. I can't actually record um, my phone yet, but I promise it does work. <laughs> Now last but not least, we're going to talk about how to put the texture packs on Android devices. So this is very simple again. All you need to do is plug in the Android device to your computer. Um, so I'm going to do that now by plugging it in. A prompt will show up on your Android device asking if you want to turn on USB storage. Um, click that. And then you will see that eventually a folder will pop up um, for your Android device. There it is. Um, so this is the F sort of drive at the moment, and this isn't where we want. We actually want to go to the um, SD card um, because that's where this is stored. So if we go back to um, this PC, you can see that there's the F drive and then the E drive, and this is where it'll be stored. So we click on that. You can see that I've got all the stuff here. If we go into games, com.mojang, you can see that you've got the Pocket Edition and the Worlds. Create a new folder, call it resource underscore packs, and then simply just drag your um, texture pack into that folder. Close out of that, um, turn off the USB storage, and open up Minecraft, and it'll work. So I hope this video has been helpful to you guys. Um, I can't upload this faithful texture pack that I have here but I will leave a link to a working texture pack. Um, I'll check that it all works and everything so you can test this out for yourselves. And if you have any problems with loading the texture pack that I link, then let me know in the comments and I'll be happy to help out. But anyway, that's all from me for this video. I'll do the conversion video soon um, and I'll see you then. Bye for now.